Hello and welcome to the program, Sula's Big Adventures with me, Sula. It's time for another Deep Sky Challenge. And in this one, we're going to look at one of my favorite planetary nebulae, NGC 3242, also known as Caldwell 59, and also known as the Ghost of Jupiter, Planetary Nebula and Hydra. I love looking at this planetary nebula because of the beautiful color. NGC 3242 was discovered February 7, 1785 by William Herschel and also observed by William Herschel's son, John Herschel, from the Cape of Good Hope in South Africa in the 1830s. William Herschel described this planetary nebula as resembling the color of Jupiter. And in 1887, Captain William Noble wrote that it looked like the ghost of Jupiter. NGC 3242 is about 1,400 light years away, though measuring its precise distance is difficult. It can be seen with small telescopes, even as small as a 80 millimeter refractor. And in your 50 millimeter finder scope, it might appear just like an eighth magnitude star in the finder scope, but even with a small telescope at 50 times magnification, you'll be able to make out the beautiful blue-green color. I'm not clear why William Herschel thought it looked like Jupiter. It has a distinct bluish-green color to me. It's about the size of Jupiter in the telescope's eyepiece, 30 by 40 arc seconds, though in reality it's light years across. In larger telescopes, it will appear oval-shaped or elongated with a bright inner disk surrounded by a larger faint halo. Planetary nebulae are formed by stars the size of our sun that have fused all of their hydrogen into helium and they're at the end of their lives and they begin to expel their outer layers into beautiful, colorful displays, leaving at the core the stellar corpse the white dwarf. You can see the white dwarf at the core of the ghost of Jupiter with a telescope of eight inches or larger. This is the deep sky challenge part to see the white dwarf at the core of the ghost of Jupiter. This white dwarf is magnitude 12.1. So it's within the grasp of an even smaller telescope from a dark sky site under good conditions. If you're viewing from a light polluted area, you'll be able to see the ghost of Jupiter and you'll even see the beautiful color, but seeing the white dwarf at the core will be difficult. The white dwarf is cataloged as HD 90255. It's fairly easy to locate in GC 3242. It's only 1.8 degrees south of Mu Hydrae, a magnitude 3.8 star. But since Hydra is such a large constellation, start at Corvus, the crow, and from there go due east to the brightest star of Hydra, Alphard. Mu Hydrae and NGC 3242 are about two-thirds of the way from Beta Corvi to Alphard. This covers a lot of territory, so let's go outside and I'll show you how to find it. Then I'll look with my 10-inch Dobsonian for the white dwarf. I've looked at NGC 3242 many times with small refractors because it's one of my favorite objects of spring. But now I'm going to hunt down the white dwarf at the core of NGC 3242. So now let's go outside. Hello again. I'm coming to you from Abortal 2 I discovered recently in Northern California with my 10-inch Dobsonian to try to look at NGC 3242. Okay, here is the Big Dipper. So go to the last star, Alcade and Arcturus. That yellow star. And then from Arcturus, Speed to Spica. The brightest star in Virgo, and then once you have Spica and Virgo, just to the east of that will be the trapezoid of Corvus. And we're going to start at Beta Corvi.
in Corvus and going east towards Alfard. That Beta Corva. This is Hydra. That's Alfard, the brightest star in Hydra. You go down to Mu. 1.8. Finding Mu. Hadre, and then going 1.8 degrees south. Okay, first I'm going to start with the 27 millimeter panoptic 2 inch that came with this telescope. And then once I get it in there, you can magnify, magnify, magnify with planetary nebulae. And also, I'll put in an O3 filter. Beautiful. It's only 45 times magnification, but the blue-green color is very apparent. It's so pretty. This is a premier planetary nebula. Okay, now you can also use a UHC filter. I have an ultra block, but I'm going to use my Lumicon O3 filter and magnify it to 120. And then, after that, I'm going to go up to 200 and look at it to look for the central star, the white dwarf. So pretty. It's one of my favorite objects. It's so beautiful. Okay, I'm at 200 times magnification, and I see the central star, the white dwarf. Very cool. Very, very cool. I'm going to try to magnify a little bit more. What a wonderful object. Be right back. Okay, it looks really, really good. I wish I had another eyepiece with me, that three millimeter, but I don't have it with me, but this is really, really cool. Just push your telescope to the limits when it comes to planetary nebulae. <laughs> what a wonderful object. I love it. <laughs> okay, I was able to see the white dwarf in the center of NGC 3242, the ghost of Jupiter. But even if you can't see the white dwarf, <laughs> this is a great object. For anyone with any size telescope, you should be able to see the blue-green color, and it's pretty easy to find, and it's a beautiful object. Hello again. Today I'm in a pretty light polluted area. <laughs> I'd say Bortle 6 with a 90 millimeter refractor to look at NGC 3242 to see what I can see from a much more light polluted area with a much smaller instrument. So I have it in there now. It's tiny though, because I only have a 32 millimeter plossel in there. So let me go get another eyepiece and see what I can see. Be right back. But I have a three and a half millimeter eyepiece. This has a 540 millimeter focal length, so that'll give me 150 times magnification. It's much, much harder to see the stars in Hydra from a Bortle 6. I can see Alphard, that's the brightest star of Hydra. And I can see Corvus, but those other stars in Hydra are dim. Okay. I can see the bluish, I would say bluish color. And it looks roundish. And kind of looks hazy along the edges of it. And that's about all I can make out. I cannot see the central star, the white dwarf, but I can see the bluish color, which is very pretty. 
so you should be able to make that and hopefully you can find it it's very close to mu hydre but I don't know if you'll be able to see that if you're in a very light polluted area since it's uh, magnitude 3.8 star but hopefully you can and you can fit both of them easily in your finder scope okay I found a combination that'll put me at 190 times and I put an O3 filter in let's see what I can see at 190 times with an O3 filter Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful object. It's so pretty, but I cannot see the <laughs> central star, but it's very pretty and it's well worth looking for. Even from a light polluted area, you should be able to see it if you can find it with my directions. Hopefully you can see Mu Hydre and get it in your finder scope and look for a bluish looking star and then magnify well i hope you were able to find the ghost of jupiter and see it with your telescope be sure to put in an o3 filter and magnify as much as you can and i hope you could see the central star the white dwarf it's a very cool object well that's it for now i'll see y'all soon dark skies forever sula signing off